Former Director of News and Current Affairs, ABS, Mr. Balez uh, retires from civil service. Federal government assures Nigerians of free and fair gubernatorial elections in November. From the foreign scenes, Canadian fishermen found a life aboard a raft after two weeks in the ocean. Before the news in detail, here's a special message. Governor Chukuma Soludo has come for a total around maintenance of the Nambra State economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the task ahead. Good morning and welcome to the news. My name is Uche Chuku Ebonam. Anambra State Deputy Governor Dr. Nyakachukui Basim has advised couples to see family building as a collective responsibility so as to surmount marital challenges. Deputy Governor Basim gave the advice at Emir's house in Oka during wedding reception of one of his protocol officers, Chisum Echele, and his house of former Mrs. Former Miss Chiamaka. Government House Correspondent Emmanuel Okonkwo has the details. The governor who observed that marriage is easy when both partners know and play their respective roles in the family accordingly said that singles and young couples should not be scared of challenges that come with marriage as according to him marital challenges are surmountable deputy governor Bezim then encouraged mr chisum and his wife chiamaka to always love one another tackle their challenges collectively and make god the head of their family in order to succeed in the marital journey so welcome to the world. So it is not something that you enter with fear. It is something you enter with joy. Earlier in a remark, the new couple whose joy knew no bounds promised to forever love and cherish each other, even as they thanked their guests, especially the deputy governor, for sharing in their joy. I want to thank in a particular way my benefactor. He's not just um, a boss to me. I don't know where or what I would have been doing today if not for him. His Excellency, Dr. Oye Kachwibe, is the Deputy Governor of Alhambra State. I appreciate you so much, sir. Thanks for coming. In Oka, I am Emmanuel Okonkwo, reporting for ABS News. The News and Current Affairs Department of Anambra Broadcasting Service, ABS, has hosted a send-off party to bid farewell to its immediate past director, Mr. Gabe Obaleze, and all the retiring staff from the department. The event was doubled significantly as it also marked Mr. Obaleze's 60th birthday. Correspondent Emmanuel Tiwata reports. Held at Stella Okoye's Hall within the ABS premises, the celebrations saw distinguished guests in attendance, including the Anambra State Commissioner of Police, Mr. Adiremi Adeoye, represented by the State Police Public Relations Officer, Mr. Toshuku Ikenga, ABS Managing Director, Sashido Obidiegu, ABS Directors, Media Practitioners, and other members of ABS staff. Among the retirees honored at the event were Lady Monique Okechuku, Mr. Theophilos Ukoha, Mr. Fidelis Mwakwesele, Mrs. Regina Onyanose, Mrs. Ifoma Okoli, and Mrs. Edna Okonkwo. The gathering served not only as a farewell to the retirees, but also as an occasion to celebrate their remarkable contributions during their years of service in ABS. The event also provided an opportunity for the former director, Mr. Obaleze, to impart his valuable experience on the news department through a lecture. Speaking, Sashido expressed the importance of the occasion as a moment for reflection and encouraged all staff to remain dedicated and avoid negligence while describing Mr. Obaleze as a model of diligence, dedication, and professionalism. I want to say thank you very much for ABS. It is the foundation that you guys laid that is making us proud today. Earlier in the
16. In checkmating social media excesses, Mr. Obaleze thanked the news department for organizing the event and addressed the downsides of social media while urging traditional broadcasters to embrace professionalism in the face of increasing competition from online platforms. As a broadcaster, you should present your own without bias as a professional. In a remark, the former director of protocol, Anambra State Government House, Sasha Osumbakigwe, offered encouraging words and appreciated the news department for honoring Mr. Baleze and other retirees. The event included cutting of birthday cake, presentation of gifts to the celebrants by the news departments and other individuals, and dance by the celebrants. Emmanuel Shibata for ABS News. Economic policy expert and former vice president of the World Bank's African region, Dr. Obi Ezekwesili, has said that Africa is in dear need of a political system and culture that will engender uh, economic prosperity of citizens. Correspondent Joseph Ebocha now reports. In a lead paper presentation at the 2023 International Hybrid Conference organized by UNISIC Business School, OCA, Dr. Zekwesele, a former Nigerian Minister of Education, regretted that the dominant mindset of African political leaders negates common good of the citizens, the reason the continent is still lagging behind. Also in his keynote speech, the chairman of United Nigeria Airlines, Professor Obiora Konkwo, represented by Professor Charles Obiora, affirmed that a peaceful political transition guarantees enhanced development that ensures that people feel the impact of democracy and called on African leaders to make equity and accountability their watchword in all policies and implementation actions. Vice Chancellor of Nanda Zikwe University, Oka, Professor Charles Esimone, represented by former Deputy Vice Chancellor Academic, Professor Frederick Odibo noted that many African countries have passed through political transitions from colonialism to independence long enough to have broken the yoke of underdevelopment, expressing hope that the conference would help open new insights towards tackling the Nigerian and African challenges. Also in their remarks, the host and director of UNISIC Business School, Professor Ima Okoye and the chairman of Nigerian Institute of Management, Venerable Professor Anna Young Kanebe, said the international discourse of this nature stimulates critical thinking that helps drive development, expressing hope that a blueprint will be generated at the end of the conference to inform policies that will improve governance. I've already started my address, started my address on a note of gratitude. It will not be out of place. Speaking on how economic policies affect lives and businesses in Nigeria and Africa at large, the Chief Executive Officer of Chikasin Groups, Chief Chiko Kafo, who received the Dynamic Entrepreneur Award, former National Vice President of Ahanez Ndibo Worldwide, Chief Charles Odenukwe, who received the Dynamic Entrepreneur of Excellence Award, and former President of Association of National Accountants of Nigeria, Professor Benjamin Osisioma, who received Distinguished Academic Leadership Award, said the conference is a wake-up call for leaders to be people-oriented in their development actions in order to meet the yearnings of the masses, regretting that Africa remains the only continent where people are desperate to migrate from their God-given land. I to remember. So they have reminded me of the things that happened in the past that made them to recognize me today. Earlier, the chairman of the occasion and Abia State Governor, Dr. Alex Oti, represented by Professor Sam Omeni, said the theme of the conference, Political Transition and Economic Development, the African Perspective, is apt, especially now that there are changes in political leadership in states of African nations. In Oka, Joseph Ebocha reporting for ABS News. Still to come in the news, federal government assures Nigerians of free and fair gubernatorial elections in November. Canadian fishermen found a life aboard a raft after two weeks in the ocean. Governor Chukuma Soduda has come for a total around maintenance of the number of state economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give you maximum support for the task ahead. The news returns shortly after the break. Coming, guys, the free beach ball. Mm, I guess I'd better start again. Oh, here we go, everybody. Free beach ball! Yes, guys, there's a free beach ball in every carton of Capri Sun. Get a carton, get a ball. It's time to play some more. Mm. Hooray! Ha! Capri Sun. Welcome back to the rest of the news. 
The federal government of Nigeria says it is fully ready and fully prepared to ensure free and fair election in the three AF secular elections in Bayelsa, Kogi and Imo states. The National Security Aid Advisor, NSA, Malam Nuhu Ribadu, who stated this while playing host to the INEC Chairman Professor Mahmoud Yakubu and other members of the Interagency Consultative Meeting on Election Security, ICCES, in his office in Abuja, said that Mr. President has given orders that he wants to see free, fair and credible election. ABS Abuja Bureau Chief Ekwiajide tells us more said the security agencies are working to ensure that as nothing is as important as a democracy, promising that they will work with INEC 100% and meet all the requirements and standards required of them. According to the NSA, the president had requested that everyone, including the politicians, be aware that nothing is much more important than to have a free and fair election if we want the country to move forward. He said that we should take this message to INEC and to Nigerians that he's going to be very much supportive, available to support you to make sure that Nigerians will have a free and fair election. Earlier in his speech, the INEC chairman and chair of ISIS, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, had implored security agencies to take decisive action against perpetrators of electoral violence. He said the difficult geographical terrain and prevailing insecurity are compounded by negative mobilization by political actors, especially since the commencement of campaigns in public on 14th July. 2023. The INEC chairman sent a message to politicians that they should call their candidates and supporters to order, shun all forms of violence and other undemocratic activities such as vote buying, attacks on election officials, and disruption of the electoral process. Our message to the security agencies is to take decisive action against perpetrators of electoral violence. This is the surest way to guarantee a safe environment for the peaceful conduct of elections and electoral activities. He, however, reminded security agencies that ultimate responsibility for election security lies with them. Hence, they should ensure coordination and synergy among the security agencies, promising that they will continue to work together to ensure a more secure environment for elections in Nigeria. In Abuja, Princess Iwi Ajide reporting. We'll go on a short break. We'll turn after that. It's coming, guys. The free beach ball. Uh, uh, uh. Mm, I guess I'd better start again. Oh, here we go, everybody. Free beach ball. Yes, guys, there's a free beach ball in every carton of Capri Sun. Get a carton, get a ball. It's time to play some more. <laughs> ha! Capri Sun. The taste of fun. Back to the rest of the news. One of two men missing at sea for nearly two weeks was found alive, earned by a Canadian fishing boat in a live raft in Canadian waters, approximately 70 miles northwest of Cape Flutry, Washington, according to U.S. Coast Guard spokesperson Petty Officer Steve Stomier. The Coast Guard was alerted to a, fish, a missing fishing vessel that had departed the Washington coast on October 12th and was due back on October 15th. The man was found by a Canadian fishing boat in Canadian waters, and from that, the Good Samaritan vessel radioed the Canadian Coast Guard. According to the U.S. Coast Guard, at this time, another person remains missing, and the incident remains under investigation. We go on the short break before we wrap up the news. Free beach ball! Uh, uh, uh. Mm, I guess I'd better start again. Oh, here we go, everybody. Free beach ball! Yes, guys, there's a free beach ball in every carton of Capri Sun. Get a carton, get a ball. It's time to play some more. Hm. Ha! 
Capri Sun. The taste of fun. Welcome back. Remember that you can follow news and programs on ABS TV from any part of the world by liking our Facebook page at Anambra Broadcasting Service. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at ABS Television or Kion X. We are ABS Radio TV. On Instagram, we are ABS Radio TV. You can log on to our website at www.absradiotv.com. Now the morning points that made the news again this morning. Deputy Governor Ibezim has felicitated with his protocol officer on his wedding. Former Director of News and Current Affairs, ABS, Mr. Baleze, has retired from civil service. Federal government has assured Nigerians of free and fair gubernatorial elections in November. From the foreign scenes, we told you that Canadian fisherman has been found alive aboard a raft after two weeks in the ocean. Governor Chukuma Soluda has come up for a total around maintenance of the Nambrasset economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the task ahead. And that's all on the news this morning. My name is Uche Chuku Ebonam. Be good. <laughs>